Welcome to the AEMC model 6292 microometer. This is part one of a two-part video on the AEMC model 6292. In this first video we will show you how to set up and run a basic test from the front panel controls. We will then store the result in memory. Part two of this video will show you how to connect the instrument to data view control panel, download the test stored in memory, and create a data view report. Here is the 6292 and we will be using a 166 microohm shunt for the test shown here. For our demonstration, we have connected a 166 microohm shunt to the instrument, shown here. For this test, we will run a 20 second test in normal mode with a current of 50 amps. During this test, we will take partial measurements at 5 second intervals and store the results in the instrument's internal memory. The instrument's front panel interface, shown in frame here, includes an alphanumeric keypad for typing in information function keys for displaying and working with system options, and buttons for starting and stopping tests and for selecting the test mode. There is also a rotary knob for navigating through and selecting menu options and for adjusting test current during manual mode testing. All information is displayed on the instrument's large LCD display screen. We will now set up and run a test on the 6292. To set up the test, push the menu function key. This displays the main menu. Select the setup test option by pressing down briefly on the rotary knob. The setup test menu appears. Select the option edit object name by pressing on the rotary knob. Tests performed on the model 6292 are stored in data records called objects. Each object can contain multiple tests. For our demonstration, we will name our object Example 1 using the alphanumeric keypad. After entering the object name, press the rotary knob to save it and return to the test setup menu. Then, turn the rotary knob counterclockwise to move the selection arrow on the LCD screen down to the option Test Current. Press the rotary knob to display the Test Current menu. Again, turn the knob to select the current setting for the test. The menu offers four fixed current settings, 50, 100, 150, and 200 amps. You can also select the manual option. This option allows you to control the amperage during the test by turning the rotary knob. In the manual mode, the current is limited to 100 amps. In our test, we will choose 50 amps. We now choose test duration to select the length of the test. There are two options, timed and unlimited. As the name implies, unlimited is for an untimed test. The test will run continuously until you press the stop button. We want to set the test duration, so we select timed. There are two ways you can enter the duration. One is by using the keypad to type in the number of seconds. You can also turn the rotary knob to select a higher or lower number. For timed test, the minimum duration is 5 seconds and the maximum is 120 seconds. In our demonstration, we will select 20 seconds. After setting the duration, you must press the rotary knob to save the setting to return to the setup test menu. We will then press the menu button to return to the main screen. The final step in setting up the test is to select the test mode. There are two options, normal and both sides grounded, represented on the display as BSG. You select the mode by pressing the blue mode button. In our test, we will select normal mode. The display will now indicate that we are ready to run the test. The name of the object that will contain the test appears at the top of the screen. The second line shows that we are running the test in normal mode at 50 amps for 20 seconds. To begin the test, press the green start button. After a few moments, the LCD display indicates the test is underway. A feature of the Model 6292 is the ability to save partial test results. To do this, we will press the Save button every 5 seconds during the test. This allows us to save partial measurements at 5, 10, and 15 seconds, as well as the complete measurement at 20 seconds. All these measurements will be stored in a test record within the object we've named Example 1. When the test is finished, the message Test Complete appears blinking on the screen. Press Save to store the test in the Model 6292's memory. 
We will then press the Escape button to return to the main screen. Now that we have tests stored in memory, you can now view the saved tests by pressing Menu and selecting the Memory option with the rotary knob. This displays the Memory Recall menu. Select the Recall option with the rotary knob. This displays information about the test, including the name of the object containing the test, the number of tests in the object, and the date of the stored test. To view the stored test, press the rotary knob. The screen indicates that our test is stored as the first record in the Example 1 object. It also shows that there are four measurements in the test, the three partial measurements we took at five second intervals, and the final result. Press the rotary key to view these measurements. The stored test result shows on the top line the resistance measurement at the five second point in the test, which in this case is 167.2 microohms. The second line shows the test current, which we set earlier, at 50 amps. The third line shows the test duration, here we show that the test result was obtained at the 5 second mark within a 20 second test. The bottom line will show that this is the first of four measurements stored within this test. To see the remaining measurements, turn the rotary knob to step through the test results. The final result is shown as 165.4 microohms at the 20 second mark. This concludes part one of our demonstration. In part two of this video, we will show you how to connect the instrument to DataView Control Panel, download the tests stored in memory, and create a DataView report.